Good afternoon, my energetic foam blaster enthusiasts. Welcome back to the CJ Nerf channel. So up today we have another Adventure Force blaster review for you. This one was designed by Busby Toys. Leave the Clash combat. The Adventure Force Clash Combat 2-pack comes with everything you see here, the two different pistols, as well as eight green long distance darts and the two different toned suction cup darts for 16 darts in total. This box claims an average range of 100 feet. We're definitely gonna test that out. And it also says that these two pistols were actually made by Busby Toys. Now, in conjunction, the light command from Adventure Force was actually made by Dart Zone. So I think we gotta be a little bit careful when we look at these and see who they were actually designed for, but they're all under the Walmart Adventure Force trademark. All right, guys, let's start out at 25 feet. We have the suction cup darts in here, and we're gonna see how they perform. It says 100 feet, so these should shoot pretty hard right out of the, right out of the gate. Oh, we had a misfire already. Look at that. I'll be honest, 25 feet? I don't know, man. I'm not really feeling like these are going to reach 100, but we're going to keep testing. Okay, let's check and make sure it has a smart AR system. So we're just going to put one dart in and make sure it'll fire. does so I think we're okay and in the clear there let's move on to the long distance starts and see if they actually fire harder than the suction cup they definitely fire harder without a doubt than the suction cup There's also something rattling around inside here, as you can hear it. Yeah, we tested out that one pistol. Here's the other one. Let's test out the second one. As you can hear, there's nothing rattling around inside like on the other one. And I didn't do anything. That was right out of the box like that. So, all right, let's see if it affects anything. All right, I'll tell you right now, there is absolutely zero chance of these suction cup darts reaching 100 feet. There's just no way that's going to happen. All right, guys, since I haven't seen a review for this blaster on YouTube yet, I wanted to give you advanced modders a good look at the inside so you can decide whether or not this blaster is worth you picking up for modding potential. As you can see, the plunger tube looks pretty big, so I think you'll be able to do a lot with that. Um, but you guys, I'm sure, will come up with something if this piques your interest. Guys, we're gonna test out four different types of darts, the suction cups that come with these, the long distance darts, elite darts, and the Yamex AccuFakes. 80 feet to the end of the driveway, arc for maximum distance. Let's see if this can even come close to the 100 feet it claims. Thanks, son. <laughs> oh, that thing's curving my face. Oh my god, we're gonna have to search for these. Do the AccuFakes? Our Felipe darts. Hey guys, 80 feet to the end of the driveway, so these are clearly not hitting 100. Hundreds across the street. As you see, the Yamex AccuFakes, I would say, are about halfway, maybe a little bit more, maybe 60. A couple of Elite Darts scattered right here between 60 and I'd say 70. You got another one of the green long distance darts down over there. And there's one of the suction cup darts. So, I mean, not terrible distance. You're getting 70 feet. This is probably the max dart we had. 
which is this elite dart and that is just under 80 feet i'd say about 70. so i'd say max range for these with four different types of darts is anywhere between 50 to 70 feet all right ladies and gentlemen that's going to do it for all of my testing of the clash combat and i gotta tell you you could tell right away that this was made by busby toys the actual handle is really small if you kind of look I got literally my bottom finger is not even on the handle, but this isn't designed for me. This is designed for little kids. And the priming mechanism up here is really narrow and uh, small as opposed to how far the blaster flares out. So it's actually a little bit difficult or awkward to prime for bigger hands. Other than that, I mean, hey, what's not to like, right? $9.99, you're going to get two pistols that really shoot out to about 70 feet. You're literally looking at about five bucks a, a, a blaster that's actually gonna perform pretty well. Uh, it's got smart AR, it does not have slam fire, so you can scratch that feature. And it's basic in its design, but that's a trademark of Busby as well. So overall, I would definitely say this is worth it for the price and the performance that you're gonna get out of it. Not to mention that the modding potential is there because of the size of the plunger tube, in my opinion. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, from our family to yours, have a wonderful day, everybody, and stay tuned. Got lots more reviews coming for you. Later, guys.